Hey, it's Jeff Green with Green Financial Group. Thanks for tuning the video blog today. Today, we're going to talk about whether or not we are in a recession. So if you've been following us, you know we are working from home. So hence, this is my home office. If you see in the background, you may see people walking around back there. I have the team here. They're in the dining room. I'm in here shooting a video. So anyway, I want to talk about recession. I, and I get so frustrated with this because I, I've come to the conclusion that politics makes us stupid. It really does. And the reason I say that is because all of the talk about recession, yes, we've had two quarters of negative growth. That is not the definition of a recession. Maybe if you look in the dictionary, that's what it says, but it is not the definition of recession. There is only one organization, one entity that can determine uh, a recession in our country, and that is the National Bureau of Economic Research. You can go to nber.org and look up the definition of recession. It is a very broad definition. And in that definition, nowhere does it say that if you have two quarters of negative GDP growth, that's a recession. The NBER looks at many factors. If you look at the chart on your screen right now, you're gonna see uh, six of those things that the NBER looks at. You have personal income, payroll employment, civilian employment, consumption, retail sales, industrial production, out of those six things that the NBER looks at, five of them are positive. If this is a recession, this is the best recession ever. So, uh, you know, yes, uh, Q1 fell 1.6% uh, in GDP. Q2 was 0.9% in GDP. But GDP is a, is a wacky number. It's, it's a, a difficult calculation. People look back at uh, 2020 and say that, that we were in a session then. I, I would disagree. That was not a recession. That was a lockdown. And if we were in a recession, uh, then we're in recovery. But we're not in recovery. We are in, you know, we're, we're opening the economy back up. And those are, it's very different. And a lot of the terminology being thrown around today, I think is wrong. Um, because of we did unprecedented things with a lockdown and it's creating unprecedented numbers. You've got, um, you know, actually we do have really good job growth. We have, uh, I think for the past first half of this year, we've averaged 450,000 jobs per month. That is huge. That's a big, big number. That's the first in the first half of this year. Um, revenues and uh, the S&P 500 reporting earnings, revenues are up 10%. Uh, profits are up 3% and 70% of the companies reporting are beating their estimates. So the economy is doing well. Is it softening? Yes. But you're looking at things like retail sales, which is since 2020 during the pandemic, since the pandemic are up 30%. Now that is a crazy number. That's that. And it's not necessarily a realistic number. If we had never locked down the economy, then you might see retail sales averaging, I don't know, five, six, seven percent. So that's a more realistic number. So there's a lot of wacky things going on with the numbers in the economy right now because of the shutdown. But one thing I am clear of is that we're not in a recession. We're just not. GDP is only one factor that the NBER looks at. So you can't just say because of two quarters, that's recession. The first quarter was uh, some inventory issues there and inventory is kind of very negatively towards GDP. It won't bore you with all the calculations uh, other than to say that we do not believe in our opinion that we are in a recession. And uh, the NBER is the only one that can determine whether or not we're in a recession and they don't do it until after the fact. So that does not to say that we don't think a recession is coming. We do believe a recession is coming. We believe that the Fed will raise rates too high at, at some point and force us into a recession. When's that gonna be? I think sometime in the next 18 to 24 months, but it's not here right now, in, that, in our opinion. So I wanted to just clarify all that with, with everyone out there. If you're listening to this, I wanna make sure you have the facts and not just listening to talking heads on TV because they are wrong. I don't care what news outlet you may listen to or read. If anyone out there is saying we're in a recession, in our opinion, they're just wrong. So thanks for tuning in the video blog today. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, give us a call about recessions or whatever. So remember, stay the course.